Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about variance standard deviation of a discrete probability distribution. In our last class, we already discussed about what expected value means. And in our first beginning classes, we already discussed about what variance and standard deviation. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, first we will understand the equations, whatever we discussed in our previous classes about variance and standard deviation equations and expected value equations. We will refresh for 30 seconds, then we go into how to find the variance and standard deviation for discrete probability distribution. You know, last classes in the beginning when we discussed about measure of dispersion, variance and standard deviation are used to find the measure of dispersion. Means how much our data is spread from the mean. That is what measure of dispersion means. So this mean value and measure of dispersion value is very, very important in probability distributions. So how to find the variance value? Variance is given as sigma square that is equal to sigma all x. Take all the values of x. x minus mu whole square. Mu means mean value. This is what the equation to find the variance of a uh, data, data points. Similarly, if the variance given frequency values. These examples we have done in our previous classes, if the frequencies are provided, sigma square is equal to sigma all x, x minus mu whole square, f of x. This is how we use f of x means frequency values. So this is the equation which we use in order to identify if the data is provided with frequency values. The same equation we are using in our probability distributions. Why we are using this the same equation for probability distribution for finding the variance values. Because in our last class we discussed that so if our probability values are just acting as a frequency values that is what we discussed in our last class when we discussed about expected value similarly in our last class when we discussed about expected of x is equal to mean is equal to mu is equal to so all are same sigma all x x f of x f of x means probability of x in order to not to make you confused we are using just f of x but here in our, in our uh, variance equations, uh, f of x means it is going to provide probability values. These basics already discussed, uh, hoping that you know all these. Uh, now coming to the variance, in order to find the variance, sigma square is equal to sigma all x. This is the equation which we are going to use, x minus mu whole square f of x. Uh, substitute, uh, we, we want to elaborate this equation, sigma all x, x square plus mu square minus 2x mu multiplied by f of x. So this equation can be written as a x square f of x sigma all x x square f of x plus mu square is a constant because mean is a constant value here. When you find the mean it is same for uh, whatever how many times you use that uh, it is a constant value. So mu square that's why we take it out mu square sigma all x f of x mu square multiplied by f of x f of x is written like this minus 2 mu. 2 mu, 2 mu is constant that's why sigma all x x f of x we already discussed in our last class sigma all x f of x f of x means here probability of x p of x so p of x sigma all x p of x is equal to 1 summation of all the probabilities in our probability distribution is 1 so minus 2 mu sigma all x x f of x means this is the equation of expected value mu x f of x so this part can be written as mu so after substituting these values we got the equation sigma all x x square f of x plus mu square minus 2 mu multiplied by mu means 2 mu square mu square minus 2 mu square can be written as minus mu square so now the equation is sigma all x x square f of x minus mu square this mu square can be written means mu means expected of x expected of x whole square this can be written as expected of x square hoping that you already know the difference between capital x and small x capital x means it's a random variable capital x the values that are present in that random variable is given by small x so don't get confused with this capital x and small x in the equation we are writing it as small x because all x we are taking one by one all the x. Here we are writing it as capital X because it's a random variable. 
so these basics basics from previous classes uh, so this can be written as a sigma x square f of x can be written as x, f expected of x square the same equation what is the equation of uh, expected of x square means sigma all x expected of x means sigma all x x f of x expected of x square means sigma all x x square f of x that's why this can be written as expected of x square so finally we got the equation variance square is equal to expected of x square minus expected of x whole square this is the equation we are using to find the variance of our discrete probability distributions coming to standard deviation square root of variance we call it as standard deviation so sigma is given as a square root of e expected of x square minus expected of x whole square this is what we call it as a standard deviation for our probability distribution in our next class we are going to do some practice examples and these basics will help you a lot in understanding our next classes when we discussed about binomial and uh, poisons distributions all those things hope you understand the concept of variance and standard deviation if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you